dream last year. I won't go over the whole thing here. Just trust me, it was a lot wackier than just this little part that I'm going to describe. This part, I was at the Dinosaur Museum twisting balloons. In real life up to this point, I had done that maybe one or two times, still pretty new at it. And so back to the dream. A guy walks up in this kind of brown suit, 1800s looking handlebar must-have, the whole works. And he slams some money on the table and says, you will make me five T-Rexes and a palm tree. And I kind of panicked at that point. My dream self had no idea how to make a palm tree, no idea what to do. And so I just look at it with a terrified expression on my face and he repeats himself, you will make me five T-Rexes and a palm tree. So I woke up and immediately learned how to make a palm tree. No one has asked for one in the year or so since, but it's up here if I need it. That kind of happened to me in real life today. I have been wanting to get to the point where I don't need a catalog anymore because a lot of these kids don't care if they have choices or not. They just tell you what they want anyway, and so you better be able to make it. I'm not quite at that point yet, but I've just, the last couple of weeks, been throwing myself out there anyway. I still have my catalog there, just because there are some kids that don't know what they want, so it's a backup, like, hey, can't decide? Check this out. This is my catalog. For the most part, I just ask the kid, so what do you want? And they answer, and all is well. Um, I hadn't had any problems with it thus far, because it's the dinosaur museum, usually people just want T-Rex or a plesiosaur or Spider-Man. But today I came across a couple of problems. Not really problems per se, just some of those uh moments like that dream, you know, I just had that same reaction. Today I jinxed myself. I had the thought early this morning when I first got there, you know, what am I going to do if someone suggests like some sort of dog? I don't really know too many dog breeds offhand, and so the specifics of like making a Yorkie or a Sheltie or just whatever, it might take some practice. And another thing that I was thinking of specifically was a bear, because that's one of those patterns that I have been trying since I started this. and. I still have not come up with a bear that I am satisfied with. Maybe 45 minutes after these thoughts came to mind, a family walks up. And one of the kids asks for a bear. A gummy bear. So, um, I had to figure that one out. A while later, another family comes up, and the kid says that he wants such and such boxer. I don't know what it was. It was a specific type of a specific breed of dog, and I ended up Googling that thing on my phone, and you guys, it was intricate. I would have needed a lot more 160 balloons and a lot more colors than what I have right now and probably a couple of months of practice on that one before being able to do it so I told him uh I think that particular one is a no so he said okay just any kind of dog in that color scheme so I had them make up a dog in that color scheme and it actually turned out kind of 
cute. Everyone seemed to like it. But it wasn't the original dog that he was asking for, and so that made me feel kind of guilty. So I'm gonna have to practice on dog breeds. And the third thing, which is what spurred on this video, by the way, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's Drunken Balloon Challenge time! Yeah. A kid came up and said, I would like a lime green robot. This is where my brain had the palm tree explosion reaction. And in my head, I had about a million thoughts at once, like, what kind of robot? What should I do here? How the hell do I make this? Oh my god, ah! And I think at that point, the kid saw the expression on my face face or the mom did or someone, I don't know, it's been a couple of hours and I've had like half of this by now, I don't remember. So he said, or a T-Rex, I'll take a T-Rex. So I got out of that one, but I need to learn how to make a robot. So here I go. It's robot time. Let's see how this works. Attempt number one. Probably not what the kid was thinking of. But there we go. Attempt number two. I don't think this is what the kid was looking for either. I don't know why I did it purple. I wanted to do it purple because... I've never seen a blue duck before, and to be honest with you, I, I wanted to see a blue duck. Well, it's By the way, just in case you're wondering, I also play around with balloons while I'm sober. Today, for example, there was quite a bit of time where nothing was going on in the lobby where I was sitting, so... Here's my attempt at the man in the moon. Totally sucks. And here's what was supposed to be a jackalope. Kind of looks more like a reindeer with caricature ears, huh? But it does have the white poofy tail of a jackalope. Hey there, guys! I'm gonna eat you! Attempt number three it's Robot Barbie! Still probably not what I'm thinking of. Let's try again! I got sick of doing robots, so here's tonight's attempt at an anglerfish. It remains my nemesis. So, attempt number whatever at design whatever, here we go. Seahorse is another one I've been struggling with. I still don't like it. Needs some work. And the cat bit me. <laughs> I remember that I was supposed to be doing a robot. That being said, I have no idea what the heck this is. And I'm a little burnt out, you guys. I have a pile of balloons in front of me here. I think the bender here was the best at my robot attempt. Still did not work. 
We'll try again later, whatever. Anglerfish did not work either. One day, Robot Barbie, also a hilarious failure. Seahorse. I mean, better than some seahorses I've tried, worse than others. Still cannot get that pattern down to perfection. Man in the Moon. No. Jackalope. Also no. I mean, it's kind of cute, but it does not look like a jackalope per se. So for this time, that is it. We will see you later. Say goodbye, jackalope. Good night, everyone. Um... These endings suck. I think I should come up with some original thing to say other than just saying bye. But I haven't yet, so for now, bye!